Hello everybody and welcome back. This is another Warhorn walkthrough and today we are going to be venturing down into the desert and completing the first of two desert puzzles. I assume you'll be working with the map we just found in the latest episode. So we're going to be heading right here to the pillar puzzle. Now, as you run into the desert for the first time, you're going to notice there's obviously not a lot around you. It's a desert. But if you run straight toward the first pyramid you see, or I should say the pyramid that's closest to you, there will be a little camp. And there you can pick up a map of the land to make it a little bit easier as you navigate. There is a location where you can find the map yourself. Um, I will include that if I can find it again. But until I can uh, find the location where I can pick up the map without buying it, we're just going to go ahead and buy it for 500 gold. So a little expensive. And we're going to go ahead and learn the map. It says I already have that map, but I know I didn't. I believe that's a bug. So, here we are um, on the updated desert map. We are right here on the map. If your player location does not show up on your map, you're just going to have to eyeball where you're headed, which isn't that difficult. Um, it's pretty easy to work off of the land masses, caves that you come across, etc. So here we can actually see the first puzzle in the distance. Luckily this one isn't guarded by any creatures. Now this puzzle is a little odd in that I haven't been able to find a way to determine each specific position of these little pillars um, by a clue or a hint or something. You kind of have to guess and check. What I'm going to do is just show you the finished location of each pillar uh, to save us the hour or so it takes. The idea is that you rotate each pillar to match up correctly with the top and bottom little pebbles here, which at the very end will light up a beam of light that focuses in on this crystal, which in turn will open up the temple for us and we can head inside. And as you can hear, when you find the correct position of the lines, it'll light up and unlock the next part of the puzzle. The first few are fairly easy. Now here, obviously, we want to connect blue lines uh, to red lines. So now we have two different options we have to cycle through. Alright, here's the completed part of this puzzle. And then we move on to the last pillar. And admittedly, this takes quite a bit of time. Another trick if you want to do this on your own is you'll notice that the shape of the parts of the pillar that you can turn are different. So you can see that the corners of this part of the pillar don't match up with the corners of this part of the pillar, so you want to try and match them up like this. So that can narrow down your choices a little bit, but really it's still just a matter of trial and error. Alright, so this is the solution to this pillar. And now we're going to move on back and start these pillars. Here's the first pillar solution. And 
And here's the second pillar solution. Here's the third pillar solution. Here is the fourth. And just a note, in order to make these things work properly, you have to make sure that the um, base of the pillar is aligned with the angles along the side or else the um, pillar won't light up. And here is the solution for the final pillar. So now we have two beams of light facing the crystal. We have two more of these puzzles to go. There's the first. The second. Third. Fourth. And the final pillar. And I just want to say again how important it is you line everything up well. Um, these solutions will be the same through your playthroughs, so if you can't get them to click, just make sure that all of the corners are aligned properly. Now, to the final part of this puzzle. First. Second. Third. Fourth. And the final one. Now all of the lights are connecting to the crystal and we see that we can jump up steps here. and into the temple. And of course what we see as we get closer is uh, an image of night hunters surrounding the Warhorn. Another weird note. And our loot, which is going to be um, red armor, which is much more resistant than our heavy metal armor, so I'll put that on. So we can get that the Warhorn is definitely associated with Night Hunters, and supposedly they come through a portal, as we saw in the last dungeons we did. So that was a brief walkthrough of how to make your way through this puzzle. I trust that helps, and I will see you guys in the next one where we tackle the next desert puzzle.